lyrics of it. And for our new freshmen and transfer students, the alma mater is the official song of Mars College. The words alma mater comes from Latin. And it means nourishing mother. Nourishing mother. It is the official song of colleges and universities, the alma mater. And for those people who graduated from a college or university or attended, we speak of it as your alma mater. Now, no one is more nourishing than a mother. And Morris College is here to nourish you, make you strong, wiser, smarter, and empowered. We love our mother. So I want each of you present, and we have uh, three of our students who's going to come and help me to sing the alma mater like you love Mars College. Let's go, let's play it.
years across the state of South Carolina, and all of our churches, to our chairlady of the Morris College Board of Trustees, Dr. Lucy Rubin, and all of the board members, to our faculty and staff of the college. And I will note that each faculty and staff name and position is printed in our program, our cherished faculty and staff. To all of the Marks College alumni, and I see some of them are present here, some life members, and to our donors and friends of Marks College, and again to our most part, prized and cherished group, our students. Welcome to this opening convocation, which is the beginning of our 2023-2024 academic year. I wish for each of you a very fantastic and successful new academic year and especially for our wonderful students. We're going to go on and begin our program, and you see it have it with you, and we're going to follow the printed version of it, as you have it. First, we're going to ask our, one of our assistant professors of religion, Dr. Walter Butler, Come with the scripture and prayer. He is an assistant professor of religion at Lawrence College, but he is also the pastor of St. Paul Missionary Baptist Church in Lexington, South Carolina. A great professor. Then we're going to ask our Miss Lawrence College, Ms. Taryn DeVos, 2023-2024, to come and tell us about some announcements, things that are coming and are happening. She is from Florence, a biology major, beautiful young lady. Then we're going to ask our Dean of Student Affairs, very able and fantastic Dean, doing a great job, Dr. Juana Davis Friedman, come and formally recognize our new students, returning students, uh, back to the campus and recognize you. Then our academic dean, Dr. Lewis Graham, Jr., is going to come and recognize our wonderful faculty. And we have some new additions to our faculty, and he will recognize you this morning. And then uh, one of our own, Reverend Dr. James Lassengame, he is now employing Morris College, and you see his position is in the program, Assistant Coordinator of Church Relations at Morris College. But he is also pastor of Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church here in Sumter. And he's also a member of the Sumter City Council. And just recently, he has been selected and elected as Mayor Pro Tem of Sumter. Let's give him a big hand. And, uh, I remember um, our current president, when he was vice president, <coughs> said to our former president, uh, one of our former president, President Barack Obama, he said, that's a big deal. Put a word in there. You know, those of you who are old enough to remember that. So um, he will come and introduce our speaker this morning, and uh, who, had, who has agreed to come from Columbus, Ohio, uh, Mr. Troy Glover, who is a 1986 graduate of our great institution, very successful. And uh, Dr. Lassigan will present him. We have been knowing each other for many, many years. And thank you for coming, and we'll say more about you later, uh, Mr. Glover. But just a short period of time, well, a few years, now he was sitting where you're sitting. And we have a good example of success, a success story. And then after Mr. Glover, I will return. So we'll ask Dr. Butler to come with scripture and pray.
Our scripture for this morning is taken from the book of Psalms, Psalms 121, reading from the New International Version of the Bible. You will find these words. I lift up my eyes to the hill, to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. The word of God for the people of God. Let every heart pray. Gracious God, our Father, who illuminates our hearts and minds that seek you will your word through the Holy Spirit. We give you thanks for this great institution of higher learning, its president, faculty, staff, and students. As we embark on a new academic year, give us desiring hearts and minds accomplish the goals of this institution, increase our desire for knowledge that comes only from you, O Lord, broaden our vision to see you wherever truth is found, deepen our convictions to recognize that all wisdom and knowledge comes from you, and that we are a manifestation of your love. Thank you. 
most important students ever. Now, teaching students, students competing for the title of Ms. Homecoming, Ms. Kohei, Kohei, or Mr. Kohei, please come by the office of Student Affairs on Friday, September 8, 2023, to pick up solicitation letters. The deadline to turn in your donations is Friday, October 20, 2023, by 5 a.m. Donations to turn in after the de deadline will not be accepted. From the Office of Financial Aid, students who have not received a financial aid award for 2023-2024 academic school year should check with the Office of Financial Aid regarding their status. Students who have been awarded college work study but have not received an assignment yet should report to the Office of Financial Aid to be assigned. Students who have been receiving a financial aid must sign, complete, and or return all the necessary information to the financial aid office as soon as possible. UNCF scholarships are available for all students to apply. Students are encouraged to register for UNCF scholarships. You must complete the student profile and general scholarship applications. Thank you. Please stand. 
graduated from Camden High School and matriculated here at Mars College. As I said, he was actively involved at Mars College in all of the student activities. He rose to become his senior year president of the Student Government Association. Because connected ever since. Uh, and we we talk about this activity, good friends, we close, we, we talk every week, at least once a week, before I not talk on the phone. And, and when we talk, he is uh, at the airport, waiting on his flight, or leaving the airport, coming from the tree. You see it in my all over the place. Vancouver, uh, New Zealand, Australia, London, Brussels. And there we come. The trouble yet now? Well, I'm here, I'm here, I'm going here, I've got a flight at 4 30 tomorrow morning, all this kind of stuff. But he's just a, a fine example of young people. Somebody you want to be like when you grow up. Now, he holds major positions in his uh, profession, senior associate and educational planner at DLR Group, which has its headquarters in Omaha, Nebraska, and DLA DLR is an integrated design firm delivering architecture, engineering, interior planning, and building optimization for new construction, renovation, and adapted reuse. And he's high demand. Companies think, think highly of him. He's been elevated, promoted several times, served on the national board and the international board. Having served as the international the president of the international board uh, for that organization. And as I said, he loved the college. Organized Ohio alumni chapter and been its president since its inception. We can always depend on him to recruit students uh, from the Ohio area. Those of you who are on Facebook, uh, not, not nothing to look on your Facebook page and see Troy Glover holding a uh, recruitment event in Ohio.
do have a prepared speech, but I do want to acknowledge a few people that um, didn't stand when they were asked uh, to stand. But I do have uh, three representatives from my family here, my mother, sister, and niece. So I would like for them to stand before I get started. church, and um, Joseph Williams, who I've known since I was probably born, is here as well. And I know when you start acknowledging people, you always forget someone and you get in trouble later. But if I miss you, please take that as a mistake of the head and not of the heart. I also see the person who actually um, is responsible for me being in Ohio. I'm here, Dr. Ora Spain. And I do see classmates, and whenever I see those um, blue jackets, I know it's an alumni. I do have my jacket, but I didn't bring it. I am a life member of our National Alumni Association, but thank you for coming and your support as well as my classmate. He doesn't have this blue jacket on, uh, but, but I know he's a, uh, a life member. And I also do want to also acknowledge my fraternity brothers who came in support of me as well. So now I'm going to transition to my prepared speech. It's always good to be home, to be at my alma mater. And I'm just so excited to see so many students uh, here this morning. And as I look at you, I see bright futures. I see future leaders uh, of this world. So really taking everything that you can at this great institution. So now I'm going to go to the speech that I prepared. Brother Blassingame, allow me to thank Dr. Blassingame for his kind words. I am grateful to you for such a generous introduction. And let me say that when you are a graduate of such a dynamic institution as Morris College, you very quickly learn that there are many luminaries of great intellect and charismatic persuasion who could be called on to bring a word of enlightenment and motivation. I am humbled to have been asked to join you on this momentous occasion of your 2023 fall convocation. To be able to greet new and returning students, as well as the Morris College family, is certainly a nod of approval. I am honored. Uh, Morris is a religious institution, so I have to say this part. As a matter of priority, let me first give all glory and praise to the grand architect, Amen. the divine creator, and the moral governor of the universe. He who is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. As James Weldon Johnson Put it, the God of our weary years and the God of our silent tears. The one who has brought us thus far along the way. I am forever grateful for the many blessings of our Creator. To new and returning students, Dr. Staggart, faculty, staff, alumni, board of trustees, family, friends, guests, good morning. There's a passage in the Bible which upholds that there is nothing new under the sun. And I agree. Having reached this point of agreement, all I can hope to accomplish is to add a new twist, a new variation on today's message. And there is truth to that assertion. Great speakers and writers in time, like Langston Hughes, 
Maya Angelou, Zora Neale Hurston, President Barack Obama, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and our own Dr. Leroy Staggers have sought to uplift and challenge our worldview to always be better than the day before. Morris College is superbly preparing young, gifted, and talented men and women for the opportunities that will become available to them upon their graduation. This being the case, I will begin my message with what I believe is a moving assessment of life, one that provides a framework for how we should approach each day. It's from the late Dr. Benjamin E. Mays, past president emeritus of Morehouse College. Dr. Mays once said, it must be borne in mind that the tragedy in life does not lie in reaching your goal. The tragedy lies in having no goal to reach. It is not a calamity to die with dreams unfulfilled, but it is a calamity not to dream. There is no disaster in being unable to capture your ideal. But there is a disgrace in having no ideal to capture. It is not a disgrace to reach for the stars, but it is a disgrace to have no stars to reach for. Not failure, but low aim is the sin. Students, you must begin with a dream. And then you must tenaciously work to fulfill that dream. By doing so, you will live up to the greatness inside of you. And I know that it is difficult to hold fast to dreams and to aspire to greatness persistently and consistently. However, I want to sound a reassuring note. You can. You can do it. Yes, you can. I entered Morris College at the age of 16 with a high degree of anxiety about the academic rigor required for a successful collegiate experience. I wanted to ensure that my social and educational journey ahead would be a fruitful one. The culture and environment here at Morris College allowed me to thrive even at an early age. I was fortunate to have instructors and staff who invested in my intellectual and social development. Through them, I also developed tools that guided me as a student and are now guiding me through life. Those tools, to this day, are helping me navigate the complexities of life in a challenging society. Allow me to share seven developmental tools with you. And I will make these available, make sure these are available to you in written form later. One, set clear goals. Define your academic and personal goals. Have an unobstructed vision of what you want to achieve will help you stay motivated and focused throughout your college journey. Two, embrace challenges. College life often presents numerous challenges, both academically and personally. Do not shy away from them. Instead, see them as opportunities for growth and learning. Embrace new experiences, step out of your comfort zone, and be open to new perspectives. 
Failure is a challenge. Do not be afraid to fail. Mistakes and setbacks are part of the learning process. Instead of letting failures discourage you, view them as opportunities for growth and self-development. Learn from your experiences, adjust, and keep moving forward. Remember, every setback is a setup for a comeback. Poet and activist Amanda Foreman wrote, there is always light if only we are brave enough to see it. If only we are brave enough to be it. Profound words that I found that I hope encourage you in the face of challenge and triumph. Three, manage your time effectively. College demands good time management skills. Create a schedule that balances your academic responsibilities, extracurricular activities, and personal life. Prioritize your tasks and avoid procrastination to ensure you stay on top of your commitments. You may need help managing your time. So I implore you to seek mentorship. Look for mentors who can guide and support you during your college years. Professors, advisors, or even older students can offer valuable insight and advice. Their experiences and knowledge can help you navigate challenges, make informed decisions, and explore new opportunities. As a result of my mentorship, after my stay at Morris College, I enrolled and graduated from the Ohio State University. It was also instilled upon me the importance of being prepared for opportunities, which was top of mind when I was elected as the first African-American person to serve as chair of the Association for Learning Environments Board of Directors. I share this with you because you will have opportunities to be first in your respective fields. Seize those opportunities whenever they come. Four, get involved. Participate in a reasonable number of extracurricular activities, clubs, or organizations that align with your interests. Involvement outside of the classroom can enhance your college experience, help you develop new skills, expand your network, and create lasting friendships. Getting involved also involves building strong relationships. College provides a unique opportunity to meet people from diverse backgrounds. Take the time to build meaningful relationships with others on campus. Networking can also open doors to lifelong friendships and future career opportunities. My college journey was filled with many memorable experiences that impacted me in a significant way. One fond memory was my election as president of Morris College Student Government Association. For me, this honor presented the culmination of a college career filled with opportunities that enhanced and further develop my leadership skills. Five, cultivate a growth mindset. Embrace the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. Place an emphasis on learning and improvement over grades alone. By adopting a growth mindset, you will be more resilient 
Yes, it is all about growing, and this really is life's most critical call. Six, take care of yourself. Yes, I mean really take good care of yourself. College can be demanding, so prioritize self-care. Get enough sleep. Eat well. Exercise regularly. And find healthy ways to manage stress. Remember to allocate time for relaxation and activities that bring you joy. Taking care of your physical and mental well-being is crucial for a well-rounded life. Seven, stay curious and keep learning. College is a time for intellectual exploration, knowledge building, and personal development. Stay curious, ask questions, and seek out knowledge beyond your course material. Take advantage of resources such as libraries, campus speakers, research opportunities, opportunities and online courses to deepen your understanding of subjects that interest you. In our current space of artificial intelligence, we know as AI, and the vast space of social media, your true authentic self is all that matters. Make sure you honor genuineness in what your parents and extended family taught you so that integrity shines over popularity. The undergraduate experience is not just about attaining a degree. It is about personal growth, developing critical thinking skills, and discovering your many passions. Embrace this wonderful journey Stay motivated and make the most of the opportunities available to you. Work hard to realize the sentiments expressed by the late Nelson Mandela, former president of South Africa, who stated, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Morris College equipped and positioned many of us to actualize President Mandela's words. I leave you with these words. Every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up. It knows that it must run faster than the slowest gazelle, or it will starve to death. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. It knows that it must run faster than the fastest lion, or it will be eaten. The moral of this story, it does not matter whether you are a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you had better be running to class Labs, the library, study groups, etc. So you will graduate. Yes, indeed, run hard and run smart. Have a wonderful and productive academic year. Thank you and God bless.
example of what success looks like. Very well done. That's what we try to do as often as possible and as often as the opportunity presents itself. It is wonderful to have any number of great speakers from across the state and across the country to come, and we do. But in my mind, I use every opportunity we can get to have one of Morris College's own successful graduate alumni to come back as a model. So we certainly appreciate you this morning. And um, to couple with, uh, he did it so well, I don't really need to do this, but I would like for our students particularly, look at the cover of your program at the cover of your program about the purpose, the function, and how important a good education is. Of course, Mandela said it better than anyone, but one of my favorites is Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. said that the function at the bottom of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character. That is the goal of true education. So that goes nicely with your statement from Mandela. I want students to think about that and reflect on that as you go about your daily activities over the next year. And finally, also printed in your program, students, particularly on page eight, at the bottom, is our student statement of purpose. I'm not going to read that for you. I want to draw your attention to it. You have it. By the way, you see it posted all around the campus because we want that to per permeate uh, your brain and to realize why you are here. Uh, we hope that you have great dreams for yourself. Now, those seven tools and principles, they're in the back. You're going to get a copy of that, those, as you leave out. We printed them for you, and as you leave out, they'll hand you a copy of them. Those are very, very practical, but profound advice that you've given this morning. And so we want you to have those to take with you. Uh, now, if you bear with us for a few minutes, I know we're going to run over slightly. Don't, don't worry about it. We won't be too long here, but this is very important. Uh, we'll run over slightly. You will we'll probably, well, let me just go on and do it now. So you won't have any anxieties. We'll go on and uh, uh, preempt the uh, 11 o'clock class. And so you'll pick up after, uh, I think it's 1230, your 1230 class. So we're going to take a few minutes here to uh, do something that's important. So don't be anxious that we won't be too long, but this is important. And thank you for your attention. <coughs> after uh, the after he graduated from Lakewood High School uh, here in Sumter, a very special young man came to Morris College and enrolled at the college. And between the summer of 2016 and the spring semester of 2020, that phenomenal young man matriculated here at Morris College and he graduated from the college with a 4.0 GPA. You know how hard it is to do? 4.0 GPA. That speaks to partly to what a phenomenal person he was. And that young man's name was Alan P. Johnson III. Graduated on May 2nd, 2020. Before he graduated on February 13th of 2020, Allen received the Frederick Douglass Bicentennial Scholarship right here on the campus of Morris College in the Neil Jones Auditorium that morning. And it accompanied it with it was $10,000. 
And that was part of recognizing what a phenomenal person Alan was. Tragically, however, his life ended on January 9th of 2022. The, uh, we have uh, with us today, and I'm proud to uh, roll out and announce a wonderful scholarship that has been established here at the college and the name of Alan P. Johnson III. It is the yeah. Alan P. Johnson III Endowed Scholarship here at the college. Yeah. It is being established, and I will let you uh, hear from the donor just a minute, and Alan's parents. But it is being established, or has been established, in the amount of $10,000 from a very generous donor. We'll hear him in a moment. And uh, let me add, um, Tony, that in addition to the $10,000, you know, an endowed scholarship is a scholarship where the principal remains in perpetuity. And so it will accrue interest and the, the uh, recipient will receive the interest from the scholarship over the years to come. But in addition to that, uh, the college is matching $10,000. Not, not, not for us, college. This is a generous gift from the Williams Bronx. Price Edwards Charitable Trust, located here in Sumter, South Carolina, where Mr. Frank Edwards is the executive director of that. So the scholarship will be established in the amount of $20,000 with that match. In addition to that, the donor, uh, Tony Signori, is giving an additional $10,000 in addition to the scholarship monies for the uh, <coughs> principal for the endowment, so that um, so that each recipient beginning next year will receive a uh, $1,000 scholarship for the next 10 years. So he's giving an additional $10,000 in addition to that. recipient for the next, as the principal continues to um, incur interest and dividends. And in addition to that, each recipient beginning next year will receive this gorgeous, and it's heavy too, um, <clears throat> trophy, uh, insignia with Morris College of Seal, uh, Alan P. Johnson III, Endowed Scholarship, and each recipient's name will be engraved on this and this one is for Morris College. We'll place it around the campus so you can see it uh, there. So we are grateful for that. The donor and his parents are here, but let me just say a word or two. The uh, founder and funder, F-U-N-D-E-R, of the Frederick Douglass Bicentennial Scholarship is back on our campus today with us. He was here on February 13th of uh, 2020. He has traveled from New York City to be with us. The Frederick Douglass Bicentennial Scholarship, as I said, is funded by uh, one of our, and he su uh, supports UNCF, Tony Signori, whose knowledge, respect, and deep admiration for Frederick Douglass was instilled in him more than 35 years ago by the Jesuits at Fordham University. He's a graduate of Fordham. To honor one of the most important African-American figures in our country's history, the Signori family designed and funded the program to recognize this historic leader. Africa. 
African-American leader, Frederick Douglass, providing scholarship support to outstanding young women and young men attending HBCUs. So Morris is not the only HBCU. The program will be administered and managed by the United Negro College Fund through the academic year 2038 through 2039. Thank you. So I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Tony Signori to come, the CEO and managing partner of Taylor Strategies uh, in New York, to come and say a word uh, about Alan. And then we're going to ask, following him finally for the program, we will ask Alan's parents uh, to come and have some closing words uh, about the scholarship, express their uh, thoughts on what a wonderful and phenomenal young man to come. Uh, Miss Dr. Rasha Boy Richardson is Alan's mother. She's here on the stage. And Mr. Rashawn Richardson uh, will come after Tony gives some words uh, in honor of Alan. contact, and he would talk about all of his dreams, and everything that Morris College had instilled in him, that he was going to take that hope, just like the great Frederick Douglass would do. But unfortunately, Alan's life ended far too soon. But we are here today, all of us, to embrace what Alan stood for and his legacy, like the great Frederick Douglass's legacy, will continue to remain strong. And so it is a great honor to have and establish the Alan Johnson III Scholarship to continue to serve and inspire all of you. As I look at you coming here for your first year, take it all in. Mr. Glover's words of wisdom are so important. As I sat there, I was thinking, my goodness, look at how many generations of Morris College students have been inspired by this outstanding institution. Yes, number seven was curiosity. Is that right, Mr. Glover? Yes. Yeah. 
there is another word that begins with the letter C. And with that curiosity is courage. And we all know, as you go forth in your lives, you will be faced with some adversity. You know that. But that's when you think about some of the pearls of wisdom that were brought to us by the great late Dr. Maya Angelou. What she said about courage means so much for each and every one of you. Because, as she said so often, with courage, nothing can ever dim the light that shines so brightly within each and every one of you. God bless all of you. God bless Alan Johnson. And please continue to be inspired by this wonderful human being. Now I'd like to introduce his father.